Welcome to the World Radio Communication Conference 2023, WRC 23, being held here in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio this morning by Mr. Mats Granred, who is the Director General of GSMA and also a Commissioner for the Broadband Commission for Sustainable Development. Mats, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Great to be here. Now, you're no stranger to, uh, to ITU events. Uh, in fact, uh, as I obviously, with regards to the Broadband Commission, and uh, I know we've seen you at, at, uh, at plenty of ITU events as well. Sure. GSMA comprises of more than 1,100 mobile operators and organizations uh, in the digital ecosystem around the world. GSMA has got a, we'll say, an exhibition stand here as well. Mm. And uh, it has said, and I quote, together we believe that WRC 23 can make decisions for the benefit of billions. I wanted mm. to ask you, how does that stand from your perspective? No, I think that's very true. I mean, WRC is a critical event for us is where we agree the future spectrum. We harmonize spectrum and spectrum is our lifeline. It's the blood that makes mobile operators work. And the billions is really, we have three focus areas this, this time. One is the, the low band, the 400 to 600 megahertz. And, and that band is really for the billions, where we see that we have the, now the opportunity to build out networks to make sure that we can not only cover, which we, we cover 95% of the population right now, but to build capacity, make sure that people can actually get online through a mobile device. Linked to that is, of course, the mid-band, the 3.3, 3 3.4 gigahertz, all the way up to 6 gigahertz. Now, these bands are also equally important to build capacity, make sure that we can build out business-to-business -business solutions um, in a harmonized way, because it's all around us agreeing on spectrum bands so we can roam, we can have the same APIs globally. So, therefore, it is really an event that affects billions of people. And how will a successful WRC23, do you think, bring the whole world on a journey towards a, a brighter and more prosperous future? Well, through what I said, I think that if we can agree on these different spectrum bands, the low band, the mid band, and the high, slightly mid band, but slightly higher up to the six gigahertz, I think we have a good portfolio of um, capacity to build out our networks uh, for the future. So, you know, with 5G now really kicking in properly and we see more and more business to business applications, we crave, we must have more spectrum. Otherwise, the whole industry will be sort of strangulated. So it is, it is critically important that this becomes a success here in WRC. Now, anybody who's been to Barcelona at the beginning of the year, uh, certainly last year, would be no stranger to the Mobile World Congress, which pretty much takes over the, the whole city there. Thousands and thousands flood in for that, not just mobile operators, but also anybody who is interested in technology. Absolutely. And it's uh, very much a key event and also yeah. brings together ministers too. Yeah. It's grown from strength to strength. And I know you have others also around the world as well. Yeah. But focusing on, on Barcelona yeah. in 2024, what could people expect when they attend? It's, it's going to be around applications around 5G. I'm going to talk a lot around Open Gateway, which is basically API roaming. Of course, there will be a lot of discussions around AI and the use of AI, of post-quantum. How do we prepare ourselves for a world where we have already sort of been in a quantum type of, of situation? Uh, I think we will see... Um, a lot of different use cases. Uh, as you rightly said, uh, we are sort of 750 mobile operators globally, but then you have four or 500 enterprises as well. And to a typical event in Barcelona, 60 to 70% of participants, exhibitors, are from outside of the ICT sector, from outside. And I think that just shows how, uh, how important connectivity is for mobile operators, for sure, but more so for business businesses as well. Everyone is trying to figure out how can I use this device? How can I use the connectivity? How can I use a 5G environment with good speed, ultra low latency, ubiquitous coverage to my advantage? How can I prosper from that? And the way to, to see that, the way to learn is at MWC in Barcelona. So, I mean, we, we are practically sold out. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic event. Last year we were 90 
5,000 or so. It's not really about the numbers, it's more about having the right people. Because this is a business-to-business -business event where, where we come and we make business. Um, so we really look forward to, to, to Barcelona. We look, we look yeah. forward to being with you then too. Yeah. Uh, finally, you're here, you've taken the time to be here. You, I know that you're jet setting around. Uh, I know you, you're going off somewhere else tomorrow, but uh, I wanted to ask you while you're here in the studio, is there a message that you would like to convey to our viewers and listeners? Well, I think you know, I'm, I'm heading to, to Riyadh where we have a, a smaller event called M360 in a couple of weeks time, which is uh, equally important for us. Uh, I think that the message is let, let's, let's agree. Let's agree on a harmonized spectrum globally. And I think uh, the sooner we can do that, the better it is. And uh, then it's all around, you know, let's build out and make business happen. I think that the world needs to uh, unite around uh, something and unite around technology is actually one of the best things. Very wise words. Well, Mats, thank you so much for joining us in the studio today. We look forward to catching up with you again very soon. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to be here. Thank you. And if you've enjoyed this interview, why not check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel, as well as our podcasts on SoundCloud or Spotify or wherever you listen to your podcasts from. And for further information, visit our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.